Most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living in retirement with having. You do this by choosing the right people in your life. You do this by choosing the right life partner for life. Most beautiful women choose the wrong partner because they look for the Ken doll to their Barbie. And when they find him, everything's all fine and dandy and usually he's a player who sets her up to be played with. And then he walks away dumping her and her children. Now isn't that the truth? There are abusers who are usually men. My late spouse was physically abused by her Japanese husband all the time. I rescued her from that life and I took her as mine. When I did that, it wasn't easy. When I did that, I wasn't being greasy or stupid. I was doing that because I fell in love with a sweet woman at that time. After literally 20 years of spousal duties as a husband, as a father, as a friend, as a lover, I lost my wife. And when I chose to go for the next girl, when I chose to do those things right, I prayed to the Lord a mighty prayer. And that prayer came to pass in two girls. And when that happened, I almost lost my life. Because when I lost that girl, out of her own arrogance, her own foolishness, her own stupidity, her own needing to walk her way. It almost killed me every single day for literally seven to eight years. But the Lord Jesus Christ knows my soul. The Lord keeps my counsel. And what I mean by that is I don't make decisions without God in my life. I don't play with someone's abilities. I don't sit on someone's computers or cell phones. I don't try to abuse someone's rights to their life. And if I'm going to love on someone, I don't drive into a city and pretend that I talk to someone and then lie about it and try and make it all pretty in a story that I tell to my friends or my church folk or whoever's in my life at the time. But the women who do this are not being blind. They're being foolish and unkind before the Lord.